As home networks get more complicated and packed with more wireless devices, wired networking starts to feel almost dated. Who needs a wired connection from one of the best network switches when you can get gigabit speeds? So in today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 5 best network switches for business. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 5 in my list is TP-Link DLSG 11616 Port Gigabit Ethernet Network Switch. TP-Link is once again a best network switch choice here because of its affordability. At $65, it's not quite as much a deal as the TLSG 108, but finding a lower cost 16 port unmanaged switch with the kind of reliability, warranty, and proven performance offered by TP-Link would be challenging and perhaps involve some good fortune. With the TLSG 116, you'll get the same benefits as the 8 port version. IGMP snooping, flow control, QoS, etc. It also has the same unobtrusive LEDs, metal housing, and fanless construction and limited lifetime warranty. Like its 8 port sibling, however, it lacks loot detection, which may be a bigger issue when you're the type of user looking for a 16 port switch. The TLSG 116 performed as well as can be expected in testing with a small drag and transfer speed under load, but otherwise maintaining at least near gigabit speeds while testing with iPerf and normal file transfers, streaming, and gaming. Number 4 in my list is Zexel XGS 1010 Multi-Gig 12 Port Switch. In between 8 and 16 port switches, you have some funky units like this Zexel XGS 1010 12. It's built on the box as a desktop switch with 8 gigabit ports and 4 bonus ports in the form of two 2.5 GBE and two 10 GBE SFT uplink ports. The latter fiber internet customers would recognize as the data port on a fiber ONT. Optical network terminator think of it like a fiber modem for customers without last mile copper. Physically, the XGS 101012 has a solid metal enclosure a fanless design, an external power supply, with all the ports on one edge while the power supply connects in the back. Each port has two LEDs for power and status, with colors to indicate the speed of connection being provided. It boasts QoS, Auto NDI, and MDIX in all ports, and flow control. The switch did well in testing, putting up numbers slightly better than the QNAP on its 2.5 GB ports, while its gigabit ports performed very well. Under heavy traffic, we saw no performance loss, which is to be expected given its total bandwidth of 66 Gbps. The Zixel was the second hottest of the switches tested, peaking at 100 degrees Fahrenheit under load, which is definitely going to be warm to the touch, but not concerningly so. Just make sure the box has a bit of ventilation. Though the Zixel XGS 101012 will run you $150 when bought at its MSRP, the addition of two 2.5 GBE ports and two 10 GBE ESFP uplink ports makes this a very good deal relative to similar switches, which typically go for hundreds of dollars and lack this much versatility. If you have a high-speed NAS, network attached server, or need a super fast connection between a couple of your computers. This switch lets you do that on the cheap while still serving as a great hub for your other devices. Lastly, it is somewhat unclear what the warranty terms are for this switch. The included documentation only refers the buyer to the website where it's not explicit under which warranty it falls, standard or limited lifetime. But we contacted Zexel and were able to confirm that while XGS 101012 falls under the two-year standard warranty, this particular switch is among those that have had their term extended to five years. That still isn't amazing, but it's better than what you'll get from many cheap switches. Number three in my list is Ubiquiti Unify USW Flex Network Switch. This is a complicated recommendation. Recent news concerning a privacy breach at YubiKey-D notwithstanding, we believe the Unify USD Flex to be the best network switch for anyone looking to bring PO to the edge of their network. This affordable, 
5 Port Wonder can supply up to 15.4 watts of power to each of its four output ports. Note the use of up to here once you've got all ports occupied, the 46 watt power budget will prevent 15.4 watts going to all four ports at once. So if you are using up all of that power at every port, the fourth port gets reduced priority and lower wattage. The PoE features also only apply provided the Unify USD Flex is powered itself by a proper PoE injector. If you're uncertain which injector to buy, Ubiquiti sells a fairly inexpensive one. Although it's a managed switch, the Unify USD Flex lacks certain key features like spanning tree protocol, which helps prevent switch loops, or the ability to use SSA for extensive command line management. Although you can SSA in for some basic functionality like firmware updates, it works well as an edge of network device to power things like IP cameras or sensors that you may want to have minimal wiring going to. Additionally, the USD Flex is built for outdoor use and comes with multiple mounting options either magnetic or pole and wall mounts, as well as a hood that can be affixed over the Ethernet ports to help prevent moisture ingress when it rains. As a quick aside, part of this switch's outdoor-friendly design is its recessed ports, which can be hard to remove an RG45 connector from, as there isn't much room for your fingers to squeeze the connector's release clip. In testing, we found that when using the Flex without configuration, it worked about as well as any other in this list. Transfer speeds were solid and faster than other gigabit switches tested under load. It's worth noting here, however, that the Ubiquiti does get quite hot, sitting easily over 100 degrees Fahrenheit at idle and getting as warm as 118.7 degrees F with every port in use, and that's in a cool room with plenty of air movement. It's rated to operate in temperatures up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit at 25 watt output to 131 Fahrenheit at 46 watt. But it would still be a good idea to keep it in a shaded area if using outside, as direct summer sun could shorten its lifespan or impact performance. The USD Flex comes with other caveats too. The switch is managed via a browser-based GUI the same general-purpose interface that is used for all other UNIFI gear, which is nice if you have an all-UNIFI network, but irritating and confusing if you only have this switch. And though it can function without ever touching its settings, there are some you'll have to change to access promised capability. For instance, the switch does not default to the 800 and 2.3-bit protocol that provides for the full 46-watt power budget, so you must change the power source under settings to PoE injector. You'll want to be certain that the device powering it is outputting with the 800 and 2.3-bit protocol, or you will not be able to get all 46 watts. The final note is applicable to managed switches in general. If setting up and using a virtual LED in, you would do well to first ensure that your router supports VLANs. Amazon's Eero, for instance, currently does not. In spite of all of this, the convenience of bringing both Gigabit Ethernet and 800 and 2.3 AFPO power from four ports to anywhere in or out of your home for 100 bucks is quite a weighty item in the pro column, in our opinion. Number two in my list is TP-Link TLSG105M25 port multi-gigabit switch. After what seems like an eternity, network devices are finally beginning to embrace faster than gigabit connections. From routers to modems, computers to network attached server, big data pipelines are starting to enter the mainstream. And that's a good thing, particularly as we now use more data than ever before. It's even possible to get a 2 JEPS connection now if you live in one of the cities where Google is now offering the service. Of course, you needn't have a connection that fast to get use out of one of the recent 2.5 GBA network switches. File transfers, home media servers, and high capacity, high bandwidth network attached server setups can all stand to benefit from a high bandwidth switch. And as they come out, we'll try to put our hands to the latest and greatest to let you know how they fare. That brings us today to the TP-Link TLSG105M2, a super fast unmanaged 5 port, 2.5 GBE switch that, while bigger than your average 5 port gigabit switches, should still fit into just about anyone's setup, and budget for that matter. Along with its 8 port sibling, 
the TLSG 108 M2. The TLSG 105 M2 is low profile, easy to set up, and features a fanless design and metal enclosure that will keep it as quiet as it is fast. And because it's a 2.5 GB switch, you might not need to buy new cabling. As long as you're already using Cat5 e cabling in your network, you're good to take advantage of the 802.3B's network protocol which promises 2.5 GBE or 5 GBE connections over 100 meters of cable. In testing, this bore out with super fast file transfers that didn't even blink when we loaded the network down with as much traffic as we could muster. The switch ran a little warm though, topping out at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. This switch supplants our previous choice for best 5-port switch, the TNAPQSW11055T, for a few reasons. First, the TP-Link just has a bigger pipe for data, pushing a consistent 2.34 JEPs where the QNAP, in our testing, only barely got over 2 JEPs in real-world use. It also has a slightly more space-friendly form factor, and perhaps most importantly, where the QNAP's warranty ends at two years, the TP-Link TLSG105N2 falls in the company's business class of switches, giving it a generous limited lifetime warranty. Lastly, the TLSG105M2 Sports goes, a feature typical of most unmanaged switches that is conspicuously absent on the QSW11055T. If we had to pick a couple things that aren't ideal about this neat little switch, it would have to be the lack of loop detection and the fact that the power supply plugs into the side opposite the ports. Of course, the latter is entirely personal preference, but it can also complicate installation in some setups. The TP-Link's list price is $130, although as of the time of this writing, you can actually get it for $109 at Amazon, which is the same price as the QMNAP. The TP-Link is the choice either way, but with the current price, it's a no-brainer. Number one in my list is TP-Link DLSG 1088 port gigabit network switch. When it comes to eight port network switches for the home or small office network, it's hard to beat the TP-Link DLSG 108. It's compact, has a fanless metal enclosure, plus dimmer and less distracting LEDs than some of its competitors. Don't worry, there are still two per port, each informative based on color and slash or blinking pattern. The TLSG 108 also features traffic prioritizing cures, full duplex flow control, auto negotiating ports for choosing transfer speed up to a gigabit, and simple plug and play setup. This best network switch performed at rough parity with other eight port switches we tested and ran cool. The one notable omission from this network switch is loop detection, which prevents your network being slowed to a crawl or disabled entirely by looped network traffic. This can be a very important troubleshooting tool in a complicated network, with visual indicators on a switch that tell you which Ethernet ports to investigate for issues. Lastly, the TP-Link features a nice limited lifetime warranty, providing a nice peace of mind. On the whole, even if you only need five extra ports, we recommend this switch for its price, feature set, and build quality to expand the wired capability of your network now and in the future. All right, guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.